In 2014, I was having a normal day when I got an email from my blog provider saying that I had used too much of my allotted plan and my website was about to be shut down. I only had 10 readers at that time and I think two of them were my parents, so I knew something was off. I went to my analytics and sure enough, I was having an astronomical spike in traffic and it was because of this fox hoodie. This simple crochet pattern had somehow taken off on Pinterest and it was pinned more than 10,000 times before the activity sort of tapered off. I still to this day get traffic because of this hoodie. It was my brief glimpse into virality online. I don't know if I was hooked on the feeling after that, but for sure I knew that I now had to share my creativity online. When you're a little child, you're asked constantly, what do you want to be when you grow up? I would always answer, artist. I wasn't really sure like what it looked like to be an artist or how I was going to actually do that, but it was my go-to response. What do you want to be when you grow up? Artist. What do you want to be when you grow up? Artist. What do you want to be when you grow up? Artist. What do you want to be when you grow up? Artist. What do you want to be when you grow up? Artist. What do you want to be when you grow up? Artist. It was a knee-jerk response at times. So now as an adult, I'm realizing that the job title is a bit more complicated than that. There are plenty of different levels of artists, different categories, different types, but I'm gonna boil them down for the sake of this talk to just two. Artists with an audience and artists without an audience. Now, of course, there's another category of like world famous artists that everybody knows about, but we're not gonna deal with that right now. Now, a hobby artist is an artist without an audience. They just wanna make art. These are artists who have tons of talent, but they have no idea how to share it with others. They either have no desire to share it, which is fine, or they're the ones who have this garage or attic full of masterpieces, but they have like 12 friends on Facebook. They have the art, but not the attention. Content creators are just artists with audiences who have cracked the code for some sort of social media sharing or media sharing where their content is seen by their intended audience. They have both the art and the attention. They wanna share both their artwork and maybe even the collateral content made in the process. So tutorials, time lapses, or behind the scenes videos. These artists have audiences to share with and part of their creative process is the sharing. They're often called influencers, TikTokers, bloggers, YouTubers, and a whole host of other terms. There's of course also creative professionals who have found a way to make their art into their day job, but I'm not really discussing that here. So despite learning the nuances of being an artist and saying for years that I was gonna be an artist, I actually ended up being a cashier and instructor at an arts and crafts store. Okay, that's, I mean, that's art oriented. You're sharing your artwork, you're teaching your artwork. That counts, that counts. A marketer at in Arts and Crafts magazine. Okay, so now you got marketing in there, but it's still very art oriented. I, I, that counts, that counts. You're still on track. A marketing manager at a doll and toy company. Y you you kind of took a left turn there. That's not very like art related. A marketing manager at a jewelry company. Oh, wait, so, Doll, doll and toy jewelry. Where's the art? <laughs> a marketing manager at a tech startup. Ooh, tech startup. That, it, mm, not arty. Not, not, art, not art, art at all. And a website manager for a tax software company. Are you even an artist anymore? Yes, I am still an artist. However, in these positions, I learned skills that have helped me in all of my artistic endeavors. I've learned how to teach and demonstrate my hobbies and art. I've learned how to create marketing campaigns. I've learned how to post to social media in a s systematic way. I have learned to tell a story through images and other marketing materials. 
I've also learned that your art can be amazing, but if your presentation is lacking, then it's not going to get the attention it deserves. Aesthetic matters. You have to have good art and you have to present it in a good way. It's not enough to have good art if your photos are dark and blurry. So was this time wasted? No. I picked up photography skills, video techniques, marketing processes, programs, content creation ideas, and practical skills that really transformed my work as an artist. So the internet has completely changed the way that artists are able to share their work with the world. However, with these great advancements has come a host of other skills required to be an artist. The modern artist can also be a social media expert, a website builder, a salesman. There are now 4.48 billion social media users around the world, which is equal to almost 57% of the world's total population. Let's face it, your audience is online. There's no avoiding social media, websites, and online platforms. And that's why I've had all these seemingly strange day jobs. I've acquired the skills necessary to share my ideas with the world. I enjoy the creative process and the painting and the knitting and crochet and writing. However, these creative pursuits are so limited when you don't share them with other people. So to find my tribe, my fans, my people who wanted to enjoy my work, I went online. I found others who shared in my passions, encouraged my endeavors, and challenged my assumptions. However, I couldn't do most of this without the day jobs I've had. When I started to sell my artwork, I had experience with sales permits and tax requirements because of the job as a shop manager and a buyer. I knew how to take product photography because every time the photographer was in my office, I made sure to watch while they were working, to pay attention, to ask the right questions. I learned social media by managing corporate accounts with larger followings than I could ever dream of. And my job was to experiment to find the best way to share content with audiences of all kinds. Blogging was possible because I had worked with WordPress at several jobs. As an artist, I could jump creative hurdles to sharing my artwork because I had accumulated seemingly unrelated knowledge while working jobs that weren't about art. Because I took these detours from becoming an artist and being an artist, I was able to better equip myself for sharing my artwork and creativity with the world. So as an artist who shares their artwork online, I grapple with this new process of creating every day. I pull out a video camera while I'm drawing or painting. I take pictures along the way so that I have content to share online. While some may not enjoy this part of the process, I feel like it captures the creativity from every angle and my entire process, and it lets my art live in multiple forms online for others to enjoy. I daily use the skills that I've picked up from everywhere to learn new and interesting ways to share with that world wide web. I also gain daily inspiration in return from artists who are nice enough to share their work with me to enjoy. In sharing and receiving creativity through online mediums, I feel as though I'm tapping into some collective creative experience and enjoying the abundance of inspiration available to people in the digital age. So what's the best advice I can give you? Never stop learning and accumulating creativity. While creativity is limitless, so is your capacity to hold on to it. Get a job that helps you build your dreams by building skill sets that you enjoy and can use to share your artwork online. Take classes, read articles, watch YouTube videos, save images to Pinterest. Become a part of the creative community online so that you can share your ideas, but more so so that you can see the depths of creativity that are possible online. When I got a job as a marketer, I thought I was failing at my dreams of being an artist. I thought I was gonna spend hours on end in spreadsheets and answering emails, but instead I built a skill set that allows me to share my artwork with the world. The jump between artist 
and content creator is simple. The audience. You're trying to get attention from social media in order to share your artwork. Nowadays, every social media platform is a potential gallery to hang your artwork in so that others can see it. By having a job or a skill set that equips you to share online, you are simply putting a bigger spotlight onto your place in that gallery. You're capturing the attention necessary to share your work successfully online. So now for a more philosophical question. Am I an artist? Or am I a content creator? Yes. Take two. Mr. Darn Bingley is snorting. Dude, out of my shot. Thank you. <laughs> to find. Don't like that either. <laughs> Dogs out. Who? Who? 